Well, good morning. And it's really my honor to be here today to support the Change the Mascot campaign. Let me thank Ray Halbrenner of the United Nations for his leadership and tremendous effort put forward by his community. The Change the Mascot campaign is advancing national dialogue, which is important for Native Americans and all Americans to have. There are more than 5 million Americans in the U.S. They are our neighbors, our friends, children, elders, moms and dads, men and women who care about their communities, their culture, their country, and the United States. Native Americans are not mascots or caricatures to be exploited for profit, not by the NFL or any other professional sports team. They should never be stereotyped, dehumanized, degraded in any kind of demeaning manner. In the year 2013, the NFL and the team owner is so driven by profit that this clearly racist mascot continues to be promoted and defended is truly outrageous. But it has not gone unnoticed. And that's why we're here today as part of the Change the Mascot campaign. And the change is coming. Let me quote from September 13, 2013, an editorial in the Washington Post. And I quote for it, We hope, too, that Mr. Snyder finally understands that the team's name is a racial slur of American natives, so offensive that it should no longer be tolerated. And then they go on to say, Mr. Snyder should be prepared for the controversy never to end. There is no dignity or respect in exploitation. Perpetrated by the for-profit by the NFL and Dan Snyder's football business, they're promoting a racial slur that must change, and this campaign is going to keep advancing until that name is changed. It is my honor to represent Native American families in my congressional district and throughout Minnesota. In Minnesota, we have 11 Sioux and Ojibwe nations that have a very long, very proud history of contributing to the strength, the diversity, and to the success of our state and nation. In one month, on November 7th, my team, the Minnesota Vikings, will host Washington's football team. And that night, I'm sure, the Change the Name mascot will have a big presence in the Twin Cities. And I look forward to personally welcoming you, Ray. Before I close, I want to recognize one colleague who is not here with us today. He has been a leading voice in Congress on this issue, Delegate Falama Vega, who represents American Samoa. Any is the author of the legislation that would end the federal trademark protection, end the federal trademark protection for the term redskin. And I hope it ends soon. I'm proud to be a co-sponsor along with Delegate Eleanor Norton Holmes, who I'm honored to be here with today, and many others. This issue isn't going away, and these students here today are raising our conscious, our level, and challenging us as adults and leaders to listen to them. This issue is not going away. The hired PR folks who are now defending Mr. <laughs> Snyder's football team cite outdated polls of Native Americans and talk about history and tradition. It's all rubbish, and it's a corporate spin to keep the profits flowing. Mr. Snyder, change the mascot. In this ugly history and tradition of your team's racial slur, pick a new mascot. Pick one that offends no one, hurts no one, dehumanizes no one. It is time to put dignity and respect for Native American people ahead of your profits. Thank you. McWitch.